guys, how's it going? So, a long time ago, I got this Hello 11 by 11 with uh, stickers, of course, it was blue, um, and I really enjoyed it. But one thing that kept bothering me was the stickers. They just kept falling off everywhere every time I turned. Um, so today, I'm gonna try to paint them in a very special way. So the way I'm gonna paint them is something called swirl painting. Um, so I'm gonna be using enamel paint. And you can see I already used once and I forgot to wear gloves. Um, so if you are gonna do this, make sure you wear gloves. They don't come off very easily. I tried, I tried washing them off with soap, nothing works. Um, so make sure you get those gloves. Um, and the next thing you need is primer for the enamel. Um, that's what you see on this. I sprayed this overnight. So first you see the footage from last night. I'm getting ready for today. Okay, so the next thing you need is some sort of container to fit that 11 by 11. And because I'm doing one side at a time, I only need to have enough depth for one side. So this will be enough. And if you don't want to ruin your um, baking pan or sheet, um, I would recommend covering it with a plastic bag or a saran wrap like I did. So the end result is going to be something like this. Um, this was my first attempt and I think it turned out really well except for the paper got stuck when I put it down. But hopefully that doesn't happen. And the last thing you want is um, if you have pipettes that would be perfect. And because I'm not in my normal house, um, I'm using these straws, basically just picking them up like that. Um, but pipettes work um, a lot better. And if you want a better finishing touch, I didn't get it, but you can also get gloss um, just to make it look better. Okay, so I'll send you off to last night um, where I took off the stickers and put on primer, and then I'll come back to paint this 11 by 11. Okay, so I started off by taking off the stickers. Okay, so actually that came together a lot faster than I expected. One thing is for sure, a paring knife works great for taking off stickers. So if you're thinking about buying that scrap white razor, um, definitely just use a paring knife, or um, most other knives, paring knives are relatively safer. Um, it is slightly more dangerous, but it works amazing. You just, it just, they, they just take off stickers um, so much easier. So, good thing to keep in mind. Okay, so now I'm done taking off the stickers. I'm going to base coat it with primer. Um, and I am doing this over, um, and I am doing this a day before. So the intro, so the intro you saw was tomorrow, I guess. Um, anyways, so let's take it outside. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is fill up that baking sheet um, with lukewarm water, but the temperature doesn't really matter, so just warmish water. Okay, so one last thing you need is painter tape. Um, this blue or green tape works best. You don't want duct tape or anything stronger, because what I'm going to do is put this um, on the other sides of the 11 by 11 when I paint so that none other of the colors go on the other sides. And um, painter tape works great for this because it doesn't take off the paint if um, there's already paint on the side. Okay, another thing I forgot to mention was that this might take a while um, because each every time I paint one side, the enamel has to dry, and that will take like an hour or so I think. So I'm gonna have to do this um, over a course of like a couple hours. <laughs> Okay, so it was really windy outside. I'm sure you could hear it. Um, so I moved back inside and basically what I'm doing is using the straw to um, pick up the enamel and put it over the water. And then I would swirl it around and then just 
basically dip the 11 by 11 into the water to get that paint onto the side. And you just wanna get some of the water away. You can do this by shaking or using one of the, the straws to move it around. But that just makes it so that new paint doesn't go on the cube. Okay, so here is the first side, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait a couple hours to let it dry, and then and I'll keep going to um, all six sides. So I'm just gonna put it out in the sun and wait for a couple hours. Okay, so because of time-wise, I've decided to do this other side um, and try not to mess it up. Um, but I realized it's going to take a couple days and I'm going to try to upload on Saturday, so... Okay, so I moved on to the yellow side and I'll be using the yellow, gold, and white. And you can see here I tried using the gold. Um, but because it was metallic, I found out that it would sink, um, so I decided not to use it. And like I said, you want to shake it so that the paint gets away from the face. Okay, so it's day two, and I'm gonna start on the blue and green sides. Okay, so this is the third side, and this might be a little repetitive for you, but I thought it would be interesting to put this in. So here is the green side, and it looks pretty cool. And what's really cool about this process is that you can use the remains of the paint you just lifted and just um, paint any other objects. Um, I just lifted this pen off the blue and green side. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so right now this is the blue side and I wanted to make a purple. Okay, so right now this is the blue side and I wanted some purple in it so I decided to mix the blue and the red enamel to get the purple. <sighs> okay, so it's almost midnight and I'm exhausted. And for the past couple hours, I've been fixing this. Um, what you didn't see was that I was, do I was doing a checkerboard pattern and then, of course, I messed up. Um, and then I made the mistake of taking it apart. And now this happened. So, I'm gonna go to sleep. But tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try to fix this. And then I'm not even gonna bother fixing this because all the blue and green pieces are all messed up. I'm just gonna primer it again and then repaint it. I know it's gonna take a while. Um, I'll skip over it or maybe include a bit of it. Um, I think that would be the easiest way to fix this. Anyways, see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so after that major setback, I spent all of yesterday repainting the 11 by 11 And so here is what it looks like. Um, I repainted everything but the yellow. So this blue, orange, and green I repainted. And so now I'm going to move on to the white and black. So what I wanted to do with these sides was to use this uh, metallic enamel. And it, because it is metallic and normal water, it sinks. So I went ahead and picked up some borax. And what it, and what I'm gonna do with this is to mix it into the water. And what it's supposed to do is to supposedly make the water more dense so that the 
enamel doesn't sink and so hence I'm gonna try that out and move on to the last two sets okay so I got my okay so I'm just gonna put a good amount of borax in and just dissolve it into the water I'm just gonna take an extra straw and just start stirring. Okay, so once the borax is thoroughly dissolved into the water, you can start putting your enamel in. So for the um, black side, I was gonna go with a black and gold mixture. And so I'm gonna start with the black first. Alright, so I think some of it might be falling down. I have to hurry this up and just try to get a lift. Yeah, it's definitely falling down. Alright, so this is gonna be really hard I have to work really quickly. Okay, so that worked out. Very nicely. See this black and gold right here. So the borax did not really work. Yeah, okay, so you can see that gold on the bottom. Okay, last side. So I'm gonna be using the white and the silver. So here you can see the silver actually um, surfaced pretty well, so, but um, the silver still ended up falling to the ground, so I still have to go pretty fast. And I also repainted it um, because I didn't like all the silver that was on there. But yeah, that's the last side. Okay, so now that I'm back home, here is the final result. And I absolutely love the look of this swirl painting. Um, I'm probably going to do more later on. But here is the yellow side. I like this one the most probably. And then this one. So yeah. So hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you like, comment, and of course subscribe. Bye.